to Ningen Farms in the central wheat belt of Western Australia. Now it's time to get back into some cracking farming. G'day, welcome back to Ducks Alley Gaming and Ningen Farms. That's right, we are back on Aussie Farmers Great Map Ningen Farm based in Western Australia. All right, we have fast forwarded a little bit. We, uh, we didn't have a lot of stuff going on. So we're just waiting for our cross to come in. We've fast forwarded now, yeah, we're in day six. We're in late summer. So we've gone from spring, late spring to late summer. Uh, and what we've got is we've got many of the fields are starting to come into a harvestable state. So we are going to be having fun with doing the harvest. So we've got a lot of work ahead of us. Um, with only two combines, and that's all good. We also have the poplar down here has come in finally. So we're going to get rid of that. And, and be done with that once and for all. So we do have to lease in our forage harvester and get that, we're not gonna buy one in, I've decided, no point. Um, the other thing is too, for some reason, our soybeans weren't moving at all. They were still at the, the planted state, they hadn't been growing. Um, so what I did is I just swapped them out for canola. So um, we've got a huge canola, uh, what's the name, to, uh, to grab here. Now, the other thing I wanted to check on, these fields here for some reason just aren't being planted on. I don't know whether they're a permanent withered state or what, but I, I don't know. I haven't, haven't been watching them too much, I guess, beforehand, but I do want to keep an eye on that because I want to buy field five. So, all right, what we're going to do is we're going to quickly just go and deal with the animals. Now the animals need some feed, so we're going to go do that. Um, and then uh, what we're going to do is we're going to get started on our... Um, poplar and get that out of the way. Right, probably more than enough pig food, so let's just head up and we'll drop some pig food off for the pigs. Then we'll do some straw and some grass and then some water, and then we'll be good to go. Alright, let's get going. Plenty of things to do coming into harvest. Look at the trees, lovely. I'm looking at trees that we've planted through here. Alright, uh, I don't know what side we've got set now. Bit of a mess there, that's okay. Uh, let's change the side. Um, there we go, that's fine. Pull them up with some pig food, there we go. Right, off we go, we'll go back, offload, and then refill. And then back again. I do need to do some cleaning up, but I'll do that a little bit later. Right, let's fly down here. Now we haven't got many options, well we have got, sorry, we've got plenty of options in relation to forage harvesters. Uh, we've only got one header available to us. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to get the same brand of forage harvester as the header um, and we're just going to, uh, happens to be one of the smallest ones, so it's also one of the cheaper ones, so that's okay. Alright, we're going to come back in here now and grab some straw. Oops, straw, there we go. Right, off we go again. Yeah, so uh, we're just going to get the new Holland, I think it's a 780 um, forage harvester and the poplar header, and then we're going to go and uh, crack that out. So we're going to order those, they're going to we'll have to lease them, and uh, oh, where am we going? Up here. And um, oh, <laughs> okay, it's a bit of a disaster here where I reset the field, wouldn't it? All right, let's fix all this up as well. All right, just disregard all this. Um, so this is as a result of where I manually um, change the layout of the fields and stuff. You know, what happens is because I uh, just basically shortcutted and put the canola in, um, it goes overrides where the old farm used to be or where the field used to be and that's what it's done here so that's okay all right straw how much straw do they need a full container load or trailer load that's okay yeah so we'll, we'll fix this up a little bit later just ignore that so we'll have to fix that before we put the um 
combine on the field. And we'll have to redo the definition for that field, I think. Possibly. Anyway. All right. <laughs> um, I'm glad I told you what we did, because otherwise you'd be going, oh, how come that's there? Right. Uh, grass is the last thing we need. Some grass for the sheep. And then we'll do the water, and then we can go and set up our forage harvester. We're going to order it first, I suppose. Right, what we'll do is while we're unloading the grass, we'll put the order in for the forage harvester and get it delivered. That'll be pretty quick, strangely enough. Um, and then, yeah, we can move that down there, take a tractor and trailer down there, or a truck. Uh, probably tra tractor and trailer. I don't do too much damage to the soil. Um, okay, and you... There we go, offload. Right, let's go to the store. Forage harvester. This is the Joey, Joey here, so FR 780 New Holland. Uh, we are going to lease that unit. Uh, we'll set up, yeah, with the standard. Okay, and then we're going to lease a header. The headers are in here, and that's that header there. There we go. And lease, yes, okay. All right, that's all good to go. All right, let's take this grass back. We'll dump it, and uh, by the time we should have had the uh, delivery well and truly. Uh, in fact, let's put this grass in the dryer. There we go. Dump the grass. There goes right, laughing now. The so its cost is I think it worked out to be what was it about twenty five thousand dollars to lease the forage harvester. So we need to make uh, a good amount of money back off the um, um phew, what am i thinking about off the poplar sorry i was just trying to park um to make it worth our money and there it is there so we've we've been given our our forage harvester here it is here and uh we're good to go right let's grab it head down we'll set up a course play course and then uh, just get that going so we'll have to manually drive the tractor and trailer or whatever with it um, to offload but uh, yeah this this could take some time so we won't we won't be spending all the time doing this uh, we may even set up a course play course for the unloading tractor as well um, we'll see Whoop, watch out for that bump and that fence. Nice way to damage our newly leased forest harvester. All right, down we go. So we honestly haven't done much with forage harvesters, really. We, we certainly did with FS17, did a little bit of work. Um, but we haven't done much at all with 19, so we may have to do a little bit of work with that somewhere, somewhere on the line. Or we might just wait to FS22. Who knows? Probably more likely wait. All right, so let's, um, get down here through this gate. Here we go. This is the field we're on. Right. So, um, unfold the pipe. And right. What we're going to do is we're going to set up a course. Right, go there. Course generation. 
go 25 headland yes we're going to do five headlands Get on overlap we're going to do three percent is more than enough auto width generate oh, this is going to take a long time um back <laughs> oh this is so much worse than the cannot than the sugar cane um our nearest waypoint will do drive course right now he's waiting for someone to come and offload him so uh what we're gonna do um uh, we haven't got a bigger trailer have we let's have a look and see the cost of trailers um i want a large trailer the angle line is what we've already got that's 31,000. um maybe i'll just use the angle liner 35,000 for that multi. I'm five, I'm five, $35 short. Um, 19,000 for that one. What was that one? 31,000. Um, they're not cheap. So, I thought we had a loading trailer. Didn't we have a loading wagon? It's not going to help me though, is it? Right. Um, think, 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 what are we going to do? What are we going to do? You know, what we're going to do? I've decided we are going to go into here. Right. We, we've got money we can borrow. So let's, um, let's borrow a hundred thousand. Like so. Go back to the shop. Let's look at the trailers again. Now, what can we do? We can do, uh, 60,000. 31,000. You know what? That's that's the go. That's the go. I'm gonna buy one of those. Uh, extension. Uh, see, it's got actually 60,000. And we're going to buy that as is. That'll buy. Okay. Excellent. And what we're going to do is we're going to grab a tractor to go and drive that. And we're going to take the class, just because we can. Right. We're going to grab our new trailer, which should be delivered just here somewhere. There it is. And we're going to go and get this poplar done, or at least some of it. Right. Enough for this episode, at least. And then we'll probably just get rid of it all. Right. Come on. There we go. All right. Anyway, I hope everyone is doing well. I've been quite remiss saying that. What a win. We're um, 13 minutes in. Anyway, all good. We're doing well here. But uh, pretty willing and able to get this crop and all, all these crops done. Just want to get this poplar out of the way. Um, we shouldn't have, shouldn't have planted it in the first place, I know, but we'll, we'll do something a little bit different. All right. I follow the road. Since I've reset the steering wheel, I've, the dead zone's been um, reset, so the dead zone is back at 15% or something. It's something stupid. Alright. So, actually what we could do... Right, let's, let's change. What we're going to do is we're going to move him up here. Because what I should be doing, particularly for the first couple of route rounds, is uh, we'll stop the driver. Come get your own trailer. Oh, you're not going to be able to take the trailer, is he? Right. Okay. Um, bum, 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 bum. Hmm. All right, we'll continue on with what we're going to do and see how we go. It's going to get a little bit tight because um, we're not going to have much room. Um, to follow along. We really need just a plain trailer to uh, put on this guy. We follow closely. In fact, what I could do...
No, it's not going to work. Right, we'll just... We'll just drive behind him nice and close. Uh, we'll set a cruise. Right. Eight kilometers an hour is the same as the harvester. Bring up to nine ten just to catch up. And there we go. Right, so we're just gonna follow him along now. It's going to be a very slow. Can you imagine what it's going to be like if I do this whole field? I'm not going to punish myself or yourself um, for this. It's definitely a, a, uh, an evolution where you want multiple people or you want course play to do it all. We'll, we'll go through the process, we'll just do it. I don't know how much the wood chips are going to gain for me either. How much are wood chips going for? Bugger all. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to make my money back, I don't think, for um, harvesting or getting the harvester. <sighs> oh well. We've done the crop for you, that's all we've done. About halfway down? Yeah, about halfway. screenshot for the uh, video okay. yeah that'll do nicely right okay Continuing along, we've almost done probably three quarters of the first header row. <laughs> Four more header rows to go and about 500 north-south runs. 
And what are we at? 50% loaded for the wagon. So basically each head of row will be about about a load in this uh, trailer. would you do this full time <laughs> oh man A big patch there that wasn't seeded Right, slow and boring as batshit, isn't it? Especially when he gets stuck. But what I think we'll do is because the fact he's, uh, I'm not going to do anything down through here because we've left such a big space. Uh, we'll bring him down here a little bit further. Make sure we're aligned to where the course is, which is here. And we'll just drive the course. And then what we'll do is we'll run back up here and grab the class and then follow behind again. Potential harvest quantity is 326,000 thereabouts. So, like I said, it'll be interesting to see how much money we make, but 326,000 litres of wood chips. Mm. Is that really what we want to go ahead with? I don't know. We'll see. Thank you, day. We're at 66 percent. Yeah. 
<clears throat> right. Well, we've at least got one header row done, so I think that's where we'll call it. I'm not going to bore you off much longer with that. We'll um, we'll get this load done. I'll probably go and see how much money that's going to make me and make a make a, an assumption. I think it's undercutting the amount we're going to get off this field because we've only got um, sixty thousand. Not even from what one and a half. That'll be one and a half header rows. We'll get up sixty thousand. Um, I think we're going to get a little bit more than that off this field, but um, I mean, I guess time would tell if I did it all. But what I might do is I might just program up the um, the course play course to uh, well, cut a bit close there to um, to finish this off and just offload him, uh, or I may just plow it all in and just be done with it. Um, so I'll have to wait and see. But anyway. Thanks so much for watching the episode. I hope it didn't bore you to tears too much. Um, but uh, rest assured, there won't be too much more uh, of, of this in future. But anyway, we've at least done a little bit. So we can say we've done a bit of Poplar, this this uh, this version of the game. Um, so, yeah. But anyway, so don't forget, if you did like the episode or you just want to continue following on, then don't forget to press that subscribe button. And make sure you press that subscribe button. You also press that alarm notification bell as well. So you're made aware when new videos like this are available on the channel. And don't forget to come and join us on Twitch, Twitter, Discord and Facebook. Details for all those are down below in the comments. And of course, take care of yourselves and your loved ones. And we'll see you again very, very soon back here at Ducks All Gaming and Ningen Farms. See you all later. Bye.